lab guy here. Today we continue with the Cartridge Vision Camera Thon. Today's experiment was replacing the phase lock loop in the camera, the one that synchronizes the camera with the AC power line. We changed that to a crystal oscillator. The top of the timing chain in the camera is a 31.5 kilohertz voltage controlled oscillator which is divided down to 60 cycles compared with the AC power line and then synchronized with that. I replaced it with a quartz crystal oscillator. This eliminates the need for the camera to see a 60 cycle pulse from a power line in order to operate. I'm happy to report it worked perfectly. So let's look at the crystal oscillator right now. We're looking at the side of the Cartravision camera and you can see the temporary crystal oscillator that I installed. It uses a 31.5 kilohertz crystal of a very large size. The chip is a 74HC14 which is a hex, con hex inverter with Schmidt trigger inputs. That is that they have hysteresis that uh, makes them immune to false triggering on um, questionable thresholds. It makes a good oscillator. I removed the transistors in the oscillator and buffer circuit that originally existed in the camera and you can see the two wires where I've tied in to power and to bring in the signal from the oscillator into the camera. Uh, this worked quite well and drove the timing chain the scanning circuits and the sync generating circuits and produced a very good picture. As usual I used my Sony test pattern and my two cohorts who uh, were just anxious to model. This is the picture coming from the camera right now. Sorry about the, uh, the moray pattern. That's a result of recording the SD monitor with the HD camcorder. You'll note the jaggy lines. It took me a while to figure this one out. Stand by and I'll show you the solution. Now they are mostly gone. Those uh, jaggies are caused by interference from my two very large photo lights that are based on CCFL lamps. So uh, with those turned off we don't get the jaggies in the picture. So it's good to know where that's coming from. If you recall in the previous episode with the Chief it could get the jaggies just like that and I'm wondering if it was coming from those lamps. Here's a quick look at the video waveform at vertical rate. You'll notice that it's nice and straight right along here which would have a hump in it if hump, hum was getting in so we have no hum from the power supply. The scope is triggered on the video vertical sync right now. Now let's switch the scope to trigger on the power line. You'll note that the video is now rolling and that's because the frequency of the crystal is not quite 31.500 kilohertz. It's slightly different but that's okay. It's, it's something like 31,450. It's only off by a fraction of a percent and it's close enough for black and white television. But again, you'll note that there is no hum visible in the video signal. So that was the key uh, reason for using a 60 cycle line lock and that would be important if we had this camera connected with the 35 foot cable. We do not. We are connected with about two feet of cable so hum is not an issue. This is the crystal oscillator circuit. It couldn't be simpler. It's based on the 74 HC14 hex Schmidt trigger inverter chip. The two 1 meg resistors 
bias the input pins into the middle of their operating region and the crystal provides both the phase delay from the output back to the input and the frequency resonant portion of the circuit. It's very simple. Could possibly be better with the addition of some capacitors which I'm still experimenting with. The output on the right side is a 31 and a half kilohertz square wave at 5 volts peak. It's 0 to 5 volts and it drives the camera just fine. So that's your circuit right there if you want to put one of these oscillators in. So that concludes today's video about the Cartravision camera and there will be another episode of the Cartravision camera thon where we find an alternative way of powering the camera so that you don't need an 18 volt power supply. So stay tuned for that coming up soon. I would like to welcome all the new subscribers as usual. Greetings to all the current subscribers. You guys rock. I have the best subscribers on YouTube, honest. So, be sure to check back for the next episode. It's probably going to be very interesting. If it works. <laughs> There's never a guarantee with anything Lab Guy does. Um, just the way it is. So until next time, Lab Guy out. <laughs>